everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Broken. Today we're going to take these resin pieces that I made, made and these Falling in Art paint brushes and some acrylic paint from Spellbinders Paper Arts. Um, this is called Whipped Cream. And we're going to use the paint to fill in the edges, the etchings of some resin pieces that I made. Um, these are uh, all coffee cups from Juilliard Studio and um, the uh, when you pour them into the mold there's uh, etchings outlines and uh, words in this case and some images so it leaves an imprint in the resin so what I am doing is taking the acrylic paint and I don't think they make this line anymore um, I can see and maybe put a link in the description if if they're still making them but the, uh, so it's just a regular acrylic paint. Any acrylic paint will do. You don't need to have this brand. Um, so you wanna make sure that you get it into all of the little crevices, all the indentations and etchings, because the paint is gonna sit inside the spaces. And we want it to drop down to color the different spaces. And in this case, they're all going to be white. And I thought that would show up pretty nicely on this aqua background with these gorgeous glittery pieces. And so I'm being a little careful on this one. You'll see on um, one of the others, maybe both of the others, that uh, I'm not quite as careful. But uh, you don't need to be. You can cover the whole surface. It's not going to negatively impact your project. So we're getting down to the bottom of the coffee cup here and you can see the decoration, the design forming there in the, uh, in the center. Um, but then I go back and just make sure that the paint has hit all the different cracks and crevices and indentations because you definitely want to make sure that there's enough paint on the inside. And then we let that one dry. I have a cup of water on the side to make sure that we get the brush clean before going into the next color. And you'll see as I go through these, it gets goes from lighter to darker. And also I have sped up the footage because you don't want to watch me doing all three of these in regular time. So, but this one has um, hibiscus flowers on it. There you go. See in the lighting there. And I thought the pink, it was sweet berry. Um, thought the pink would look really nice against that pearl white mica background and make those hibiscus flowers really pop. So we're finishing up and making sure that's all filled in and I'm going to clean off the brush again. Now black licorice is the next color because that black is really going to pop on this next coffee cup. Now here you'll see um, much, much faster and I'm much less careful with the, with the coloring and I just paint over the entire surface and there's nothing wrong with that. We're going we're gonna to clean it all up um, in just a minute here. But what we're going to do is let it dry. You got to let all three of these dry for 10 to 15 minutes so that they are completely dry before going on to the next step which will be starting here momentarily. Magic of video. So they are dried now and I'm taking baby wipes. You could use alcohol wipes. You could use a wet paper towel. The baby wipes and the alcohol wipes do work best, but you're just going to cover over and rub off the excess paint. And yes, it does kind of smear on the surface, but as you continue to wipe the excess paint off, you'll see a much clearer coffee cup and the white paint in this case will stay in the outline of the cup and the lid and whatever those things are called that you put on the cup to keep your um, to keep your hands from getting burnt whatever that's called <laughs> sleeve that's what it is it's a sleeve there we go see love coffee and look how nice that looks now also in fast painting, we are likely to get 
paint on the outside of the piece. You can, as I'm scraping it off there with my fingernail or using the wipe to get it clean on the edges. Now with these, I usually turn these into keychains. So you're just drilling a hole in the top and attaching a key ring to it. And you have a nice key ring to remind you of your love for coffee. Um, I have two of these up currently in my Michaels Maker Place store and I will try to get these up and get more of them up in the Maker Place, on Etsy, in my coffee shop, any of those places. Now this one is, this one's important and I left this in for a reason. If you look, you'll see it's not quite dry in that center there. And you're going to see what happens when it's not quite dry. As I'm wiping it off, you can see it coming really nicely clean on the edges there. However, if you look in the middle, and I am sorry that it is slightly out of screen, see the word coffee there is not quite filled in. Because it was still wet, as I go over it with the baby wipe, the ink, the, the paint comes off as well because it is still wet. It hasn't been given a chance to dry. And so now that one needs to be repainted. But as on this channel, always we look for the beauty. And so I can see how pretty the hibiscus flowers look as well as the aqua colored coffee mug with the glitter. So there you have it. We have two beautiful ones and one that will be beautiful later. So seek beauty. It's always there. Bye. Mm -hmm.